list of the parts you need can be found on the Mousetrap Vehicle Build Guide found on TeacherGeek.com under Documents. For this kit you will need a pair of our Teacher Geek multi-cutters, a Teacher Geek reamer, a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of pliers are optional. Components and free documents for this activity are available at TeacherGeek.com. The Teacher Geek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our Teacher Geek multi-cutter. But don't use the multi-cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our Teacher Geek components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. The first step is to cut four sections of dowel that are each 55 millimeters long, which is about two inches. Take one of your cut dowels and place it into a perpendicular block. If it's a little hard to just push in, you can go ahead and tap it with the easy cutters. Go ahead and place the other end of the dowel into a perpendicular block. Make sure they're facing both the same way, then go ahead and slide the perpendicular blocks down about five millimeters, which is about three sixteenths of an inch. Go ahead and use another dowel and two more perpendicular blocks to build the same thing. Now we're going to go ahead and place the dowels into the connector strips as shown above. You can go ahead and put the parts into one side of the connector strip first, and then add the second connector strip later. If the parts are a little tough to get in, you can go ahead and tap them in with the easy cutter. Now just place the other connector strip on top and use the easy cutters to tap them in. It is optional to use a number 10 screw and nut to fasten the inside perpendicular block, but this kit does not contain those screws. Place the mousetrap in the position that you want, then go ahead and flip the assembly over. Using the number 6 screws, attach the mousetrap to the frame. Put a little bit of pressure into your screw when you first start screwing so it grabs onto the wood. Go ahead and attach the mousetrap using all four screws. Go ahead and take your cable ties and attach them to the mousetrap lever arm. Slide the dowel under the cable ties and tighten them down. Make sure that your cable ties are tight so that the dowel does not come off. Using the reamer, ream out the four holes marked in the picture above. Place the reamer in the hole and then go ahead and just twist it back and forth until it goes all the way through and then you can give it some full twist to clear out the hole. Cut two dowels that are 85 millimeters long, which is about 3 and 3 eighths of an inch. Place the dowel into a wheel. If it's a little tough, you can use a pair of multi-cutters to tap it in. Make two sets of wheels. Take the dowels with the wheels on them and place them through the holes in your frame that you reamed out. Now just place another wheel on the other end of the dowel. If it's a little tough to just push on, you can always go ahead and tap it with a pair of easy cutters. Set your stop clip onto the back dowel. Snap on the stop clip by pushing downward. And make sure your stop clip is facing away from the racer when up. The stop clip may slip when pulled on. This can be prevented by adding a drop of glue. 
Cut a piece of string that is 75 centimeters long, which is about 30 inches, and then go ahead and tie a knot at the end that won't slip. Take the other end of the string and tie it tight to the end of the dowel. For better traction, you can go ahead and add the rubber bands onto your drive wheels. Your mousetrap vehicle is complete. Now go ahead and test it. How fast does it go? How far can it even go? Can it get over objects? See what it does and try to improve on it. Use your extra materials to re-engineer and design a better one. See what you can come up with.